in the previous video. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> and that's it for Coco Bee's quest. Bruh. Well, thank God this is a claim was only challenge. And that's it for Ito's story quest. I'm just gonna go for it. Hello. Morning, everyone. It's August now. So the first thing I'm going to do is to open the shop and buy the Stardust. And I'm going to go straight into the wishes. I'm just gonna go for it. No. Oh, Sing Yang, is this Sing Yang? Finally, is she coming home? No! You guys have been bombarding me with requests. No, please. Just do the bloody ascension domain already. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. But you know what? The moment I'm done with this ascension domain, the game is just going to send me straight back to another ascension domain because that's just how much AI XP I have. Yeah, no, I'm not doing this one. I still need to explore Inazuma and I really cannot afford to deal with level 96 bounty enemies. I'm not doing it. It's just not happening. Oh, you know what? This is what it means. Just what it means. We got two wishes. I believe I have Arataki, Ito, and Razor both ready to ascend. Okay, so we just need the Stein Condensate. I'm going to ascend, but I'm not sure whether if I'm going to get it to level 90. I'll need to think about it, whether if I want to upgrade for no. the extra 10 levels. And we've got these Friendship Tem cards that I just completely forgot to grab. So I'm just gonna grab them as well. And for Razor, yeah, just need the mask as well. Just going to ascend it to level 90. And yeah, that is good enough. And I guess we can up Chong Yu, because why not? No, well, he needs a few things. And Beto, we are just gonna ascend. Oh, yes, and grab the free wish before I forget. Yeah, Chong Yu as well. Almost forgot about it. Okay, so for Noel, we need the chunk and the mask. All right mask oh no i don't have enough of the geo chunks all right that's fine i'm just going to grab a bit of the dust of resolve and what i'll do is convert them so i don't have to farm unnecessary amounts of resin on these chunks yes and i guess since i can upgrade chong yung let's just do it and free items from the embattle thingy still can't do the pyro and hydro one hopefully for obvious reasons we we'll just have to see if i could get seeing during her banner wow oh sh what okay you know what i'll come back to this once i'm done with the final boss huh why why i thought i saw claymore billet no damn it <laughs> this is the third sword villain I've gotten! I made my decision. I'm going to get Noel C1. The healing is just too good to pass out. And I need 10 more star glitters. I believe that's 50 wishes. That's something that I'll be able to get within the month. Given that Sumeru is going to come out. And let's just see what I get here. Uh, that's pretty bruh. Mm, I might be able to have some use for you. I'm not too sure. Okay, this flower's not bad. And I guess one more wish. And there's the AR50 Ascension Domain. I'm not gonna do it until much later. So there's new events in the version 2.8 and i have yet to do them so we have to do it we do have sing young here and she's the character that we want Alrighty, let's go to the wishing screen zero pd on here and 13 pd on the standard banner we're gonna start off with just the warm-up wish i suppose see what we get from this yes and we get a purple oh who's this who's this is this sing young oh uh, what uh lisa cons are uh, man all right let's just go for it and let's do it Whew. Okay, we are definitely going to get a 4 star. Is it gonna be Sing Young? Can the wishing end immediately? That would be crazy. Oh god, please Sing Young, please Sing Young, please Sing Young, please, 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 please Sing Young, please Sing Young. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, let's go! A few moments later. Okay, so I am back from whatever that wishing session was. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the Golden Archipelago anyway, because why not? But first, I'm going to do the Hidden Strife event, because it's just some quick primal gems. And there is one thing I want to try with the Dilute quest, which I'll explain once I get to it. If you aren't familiar with this event, basically, you get to use Dilute as a trial character. There's the first section, which forces you to use Diluc, and towards the end of the event, you get to use Diluc alongside with your party members. The second section is the one that I'm really looking for because I might be able to glitch Diluc into the Golden Archipelago. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to try a few things and see if I could get it glitched. 
Okay, so that's Diluc glitch out of the barrier. No way, right? Bruh. No, that is so dumb. They actually have a location barrier similar to the one with the Raiden Shogun. Oh, that is so dumb, bro. It would have been so funny if I was able to go to the Golden Archipelago with Diluc, but well, I guess that's not going to happen. Huh. Milt vaporized reactions. Oh, but I need pyro. Oh, wait. I do have Hyro. What am I on about? I've got Sing Young. Do need her at a higher level though, just in case she gets one shotted. I think I can ascend her up to level 50. I don't. Yeah, I only have two. I did farm once. And then uh, level 50 is gonna be a limit. But you know what? Level 50 is gonna be enough. Uh, weapon, we have the white blind, so we're pretty good with that. Talents, I guess. So let's have a look what we can do. Yeah, get it all to level 2 first. I guess I could play around with the artifacts a bit more seriously. I Yeah, we already got pretty good stuff going on. Let's get this up to level 12 and see what we can do with this. Oh, what? Wow. Okay. Oh my god, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> Our luck has ran out. Let's see. Here you are. Free damage. One row, one. Okay, you know what? Um, let's just get it up to 16. Wow, that is abnormally good. Okay, wow. Oh, what the hell? You're not supposed to be a good piece, but if you are a good piece, then sure, I'll take it. Okay, so Xingyang, we are running just extra de just defense pieces, just cause. I Bruh. Oh, how, what? How are you on 49? Nah, nah, nah. I, nah, it's definitely because of the buff. Well, at least I could trigger male reactions now. The rest of the challenges, I had no issues completing. For the third challenge, I used Razor to trigger electro reactions. For the fourth challenge, Sayu can swirl. Fifth challenge. Hello. Sixth challenge. <laughs> For the final challenge, I use Chong Yu on Hydro Slimes to trigger frozen reactions. I don't have a reason to participate in the Golden Archipelago event since you get Fischl, which is not a Claymore character. I can continue to roll for her constellations. In fact, her second constellation is really good. It makes her Q have guaranteed crit rate and forms a shield similar to her elemental skill. I'm still on the fence on whether if I want to keep rolling for her because there is a Claymore character coming soon in the Sumeru update and i much rather save off for her in case my luck runs dry in the next banner. This decision isn't set in stone. I have until the end of version 2.8 to make a decision. If I change my mind during the rest of version 2.8, I could just simply roll on the banner and hope that I get Sing Young. Now, I did say there really isn't a reason as of why I should participate in the Golden Archipelago event, but I am curious about a few things. How many Primal Gems can I get from the Golden Archipelago? And how much content can I clear with just Claymore characters? For the Primal Gem question, I made a count on the Primal Gems. For the Golden Archipelago itself, it will be divided into three sections. How many conches can I get? How many chests can I get? And is it possible for me to clear the domains without missing a single chest? For the conches, I'll be grabbing them as they go and marking them on the Teva wow. interactive map. For the chest, I'll be following a chest route, which the link will be available in the description. And for the exploration domains, you have to progress through the quest in order to unlock them. I started off by completing the main quest for the event. As the quest allows access to more of Golden Archipelago's content. Kazuha's domain was completed with no issues. Aside from a few puzzles and some enemies to kill, nothing out of the ordinary was required to complete this domain. Xingyang's domain would have been a complicated domain to deal with due to the pyro pillars. But since we have Xingyang to deal pyro damage, these pyro puzzles can be cleared with minimal issues. Although Xingyang's elemental skill does have a long cooldown, which led to some waiting time. Fischl's domain has a section where you are forced to use a party to navigate no. through a maze. All I did was to use Xingyang and walk through the maze to complete the story quest. The domain itself had some puzzle elements which required the use of these yes. machines, but I was able to skip through a few sections of the domain by using the wing catcher at strategic spots. <laughs> Mona's domain was slightly more complicated due to the complexity of the puzzles. However, these puzzles can be activated by hitting them with a claymore normal attack. So these puzzles can be completed. Additionally, the domain features hydro pillars for no. us to deal with, but since these pillars are close to water sources, I was able to use Sayu to activate these pillars and collect the relevant chest. This allowed 100% completion of all story domains. Once the story domains were fully completed, I was able to subsequently collect all wow. 20 conches. There were two conches which required the progression of Golden Archipelago story quest, this conch which required the progression of Xingyang's story quest, and this conch which required Bisho's quest to trigger due to the crows. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I I spent 5 hours on clearing the Golden Archipelago. Oh wait, I forgot about the chest. Using Hoyo Lab's Battle Chronicle, I was able to track the amount of chests collected She's within the island. I started off by collecting the chest on the island to the yes. northwest. Most of the chests were collected with no issues. This time challenge, however, I had to quickly use Chong Yung and Ito to complete it on time.
And this balloon plant, which you are meant to use both characters, was completed with Ushi and Razor due to their slight range capabilities. After collecting the chest scattered around the waters and even finding a luxurious chest in the middle of nowhere, I now face my first true obstacle, Kasuha's Island. Aside from the 9 island combinations, which need navigating to the islands a major inconvenience, there were a few chests which were near impossible to obtain. This time challenge with the barrels gave a bit of trouble. Using the windblast harpestum did not blow up the barrels, so I had to use the wind catcher to get to the platforms and use Noel, Beidou and Xinyang to create shields and parry the damage before using Ushi to hit the final barrel to complete the time challenge. The 5 geo pillars which may have required timely activation was completed with Ito and the well, which was enough to activate these pillars. Similar case with these electro pillars. Tap raises E for quick electro application with a 5 second cooldown. These animal pillars may look complicated, but once the monsters are defeated, I was able to complete this in one application of Sayu's elemental skill. And these pyro torches can be activated with Xinyang's elemental skill, but I was able to speed things up by burning some nearby grass and using Sayu to infuse pyro to quickly unlock the chest. There's this time challenge which you have to collect 8 elemental particles within 20 seconds, but even the slightest of the mistakes will cause you to fail this challenge. This chest with two dual pressure plates was a major challenge to overcome. Running to the chest with Ushi does not work since the chest despawns after leaving the platform. So we must have two entities step on the pressure plates in order to open this. But where do I get the other entity? I've already killed the enemies in order to activate these animal pillars. It was going to be impossible to activate the two buttons. But luckily, after leaving the islands, a ruined guard does spawn. This required some precise timing due to the room guard constantly moving around and Ushi's minimal field time. But after some initial failures, almost dying from falling off the cliff and some frustrating close calls, I was able to align with the odds and open this chest. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was how I was able to collect every single chest on Kazuha's island was what I would have said if this slime did not exist. There was one chest I was unable to collect on Kazuha's island, but I was going to return to it once every other chest was collected. Xinyang's island, in comparison, was much simpler to work with. With just two islands, and with Xinyang now in our team, most of the chests were opened with minimal issues. There was one chest which required... But otherwise, the chest was collected with no issues. As the pyro section was completed previously to collect a conch, this allowed the collection of every single chest on Xinyang's island. Bishou's island was one of the longer islands to deal with due to the amount of interactions required to collect the chest. From watching crows roleplay as detectives, to watching multiple theater shows, to triggering crows into giving chest, this island focuses more on presentation rather than huh? in-game mechanics, which allowed myself to collect all chests on Island. Mona's island was the toughest island to deal with. From actually using brain cells to solve relevant puzzles, to overcoming barriers due to Hoyover's lacking a Hydro Claymore character. This island has it all. The more straightforward puzzles can be completed with minimal issues. Some of the more complicated puzzles need some unusual tricks, such as this room which I was able to complete by burning the nearby grass and using Sayu to infuse Pyro to light the torches on time, or spending ungodly amount of time to get the rain to appear in order to use Sayu to just barely infuse this hydro pillar and collect the chest below. Or this chest where you can dig out the chest without stepping on the pressure plate. I was able to collect enough of these starlight items to open these luxurious chests, hence collecting all chests on Mona's island. So I'm at the tail end of the Golden Archipelago. All road quests are now complete, all domains fully complete, and I have a total of 181 chests collected. Mostly carried by Xinyang and Sayu, otherwise this number will be much lower. And I was able to grab the slime chest at Kazuha Island by to trick the game into giving enough time to hit the slimes to spawn the chest. I am missing one chest and I have no idea where this final chest is. Most likely, I missed one somewhere along my journey, but I'm going to call it a day since I've been recording for 12 hours and it's going to take a while to condense everything into a proper video. So this video is gonna take a while to release, but it is what it is, can't do much about it. The last thing I'm going to do is to check the Primal Jam count and we have... 8,863 Primal Gems. So I think we started off with 6,100 Primal Gems around there. So that was like around 2,700 Primal Gems from the Golden Archipelago. Enough for about 15 wishes. That's actually kind of depressing considering the amount of time that I spent to make it happen. But yeah, that's about it for me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.